page is all about what is image processing what are the tools and frameworks one can use for image processing and how do we access image using python image processing in python what is an image an image is an array or a matrix of pixels arranged in columns and rows pixels is the building block or primary element of an image an image is made of multiple pixels is the simple way one can communicate when you tell you are processing an image you mean that you are processing the pixels present in the image every pixel has got its own intensity ranging between 0 to 255 the animation next to you shows that a real time example of how a computer will read an image when it is given as an input you can see that as the pixel color becomes darker the value becomes higher and conversely as the pixel becomes lighter the value becomes smaller pure white is read as 0.0 while the pure black is read as 1.0 by the computer you are requested to have a close look at the animation that is presented so that you can understand how things work what is image processing as the name suggests we can take an image as the input do some processing on it and produce results which can be used for a specific application the applications of image processing are really plenty from unlocking your phone to solving criminal cases image processing is really very handy and they are very useful by using sophisticated libraries which are developed these days it has been a cake walk to learn image processing we will learn accessing an image reading the image manipulating an image by doing some processing over it in this session image processing is also used to create data sets for machine learning applications using data augmentation methods tools and frameworks used in this session we will be using python as a scripting language and use frameworks like opencv pillow and numpy opencv is the open source library that is developed specifically for computer vision applications to install these libraries we can make use of package installer pip we can easily install all of this using just one command line and it is definitely easier and is a cake walk open a command prompt in the pip directory and type the following command without quotes pip install numpy amberson amberson pip install opencv hyphen contrib hyphen python amberson amberson pip install pillow you can use the installation command as we have conveyed in front of you and the installation will be smooth if you see it all right opening an image using python it is easy to open an image using python and pillow in python we use the word pil to call the pillow library image is a function inside the library which can perform multiple image related operations in the first line of the code image is imported from the pil library Next we need to locate the path of the image where it is stored make sure that you don't forget the extension to be included paste the path in the quotes as prompted make sure to provide the double backslash because python treats single backslash as a delimiter for the string so we need to provide another backslash for ignoring the previous one finally performing the show function on the image underscore read object will open the image we have opened the image by name wiley.png and the same has been presented in front of you for a quick reference let's summarize in this session we have learned the basic constituents of an image and how a computer looks into the image multiple applications of image processing are discussed image processing has become almost part of our daily life as we use it in mobile phones to cctv cameras it has extensive applications we have also seen the libraries and the tools needed for implementing image processing in real time these libraries are also installed using pip finally we have implemented a small code that will search for a given image and it opens it in this session we will clearly understand how do we install the required libraries for image processing we will also go ahead with a simple exercise where we can open an image using the python file and we will show you the demo for the same we request you to follow the procedure consistently so that it will work fine the first step is to all about installation of the necessary libraries with pip 
we have already given you the command for the installation process during the theoretical explanation and we are going to use the same command in the command prompt. Let's open the command prompt and there we need to issue the command we have discussed. pip install followed by the necessary library names numpy, opencv contract python and pillow. When you issue this command properly as we have presented in front of you, the installation will start. Initially, NumPy will be installed, it goes in the order. Second will be OpenCV, it will start and it will go on installing. There could be some warning messages, kindly ignore the same. And the third one will be Pillow. So all these would be installed in order as we have given. And once the installation is complete, we are all set to go. You can now open the Python file, which we have shown you during the theoretical explanation. And we are going to run that file. Let's go ahead and open the Python file which is going to help us in reading and opening the image. This is the file that we are talking about and this is a Python file. You can see that we have imported image from PAL and then we are opening the image with image.open. The path of the image is very important and the image is available in the desktop. The name of the image is important. It is wiley.png. You need to include all this information appropriately in the path so that it can be opened appropriately. You can see that the next line is image underscore read dot show. It helps in showing the image. Now run module will run it and you can see that the image is presented immediately in front of you and this is how we use pillow to display the image. In this session, we will clearly understand what exactly is OpenCV. Image processing using OpenCV, applying kernels over images. Image processing in Python. What is OpenCV? OpenCV is the acronym for Open Source Computer Vision Library. It has many functions which are used for real-time computer vision applications. It is originally written by Intel Corporation and later made as open source for free use. OpenCV is used widely in real-time applications like autonomous traffic monitoring systems, driverless cars, medical image analysis, real-time environment mapping for robotic vision, and many more applications are there. You can see some of the examples that we have presented in front of you where you are detecting the vehicles crossing that particular region of interest. OpenCV is very powerful and easy to use. Image processing using OpenCV. Let us understand some functions of OpenCV that are generally used for basic image processing. In this session, we will erode, dilate an image using OpenCV. We will test the OpenCV functions on the image that is presented in front of you. It is a color picture of the New York City. We will apply different functions like color to gray conversion, erosion and dilation. You can take this image as a test image and we are going to work with this image. Every color image is mainly comprised of red, green and blue colors. Combination of these three colors can really get you any other color. But most of the image processing is done in grayscale because RGB processing is resource intensive and complex as well. OpenCV has got many functions that often come very handy. We don't need to perform complex functions to read an image file in color or grayscale. The image equal to cv2.imread with the path of the image being mentioned is used to read an image using OpenCV in the grayscale. To read image in color, you need to change the second argument of the same command to 1 where it is 0 when you read it the first time. It can be 0 for a grayscale image, it can be 1 for color image. It is that simple and it is easy to use. You can see that in the left hand side, we have got the input image which is the test image where it is read as color image and 1 is mentioned there. In the right hand side, the same test image has been read as a grayscale image where the second argument has been highlighted as zero. That is said, OpenCV is easy to use. Applying kernels or images. Next, we will be implementing erosion and dilation functions in OpenCV. Before jumping into the implementation, it is required to know the theory behind it. Most of the image processing techniques use a method called convolution. The detailed explanation of convolution is out of scope of this course as it involves some mathematics behind it. In simple words, convolution is a mathematical way of combining two signals to form the third signal. 
In the adjacent animation, the blue pixel matrix is the input image and 3 cross 3 matrix which is moving on the top of it is called the kernel. Kernel is the most important component required for convolution process. Depending on the output, different kernels are designed. We will be using a kernel which performs erosion and dilation on a given image. Applying kernels over the image. Dilation adds pixels to the boundaries of the objects in the input image while erosion removes pixels on the object boundaries. Detailed illustration of the processes is shown in the below animation. Dilation is all about adding pixels on the boundaries of the objects while erosion removes the pixels on the object boundaries. The same is presented in terms of animation for your quicker reference. The left hand side presents you the dilation where the right hand side presents you the erosion. We are going to code the same thing with python and it is very easy to understand. To implement the erosion and dilation, we will be using the functions cv2.erode and cv2.dilate. Firstly, we will import cv2 and required numpy libraries. cv2.imread is used to read the image in grayscale giving 0 as the second parameter. Giving 1 as the second parameter will read the image as color image. A kernel of 5 cross 5 matrix with all ones is used which will perform the erosion and dilation process. And that's mentioned in the code as well for your easier understanding. img underscore erosion and img underscore dilation stores the eroded and dilated images respectively. cv2.imshow is used to show the image. You can change the ORD in the brackets with W to any other letter of your choice. For closing the output image window, this letter W is used. We mean when you press W after execution, the output window will be closed. This character can be changed as per your wish and there is no mandatory rule which says that it has to be only W. You can choose any character for this process. Erosion and Dilation You can see that during the first iteration, you have the image which is presented in the left hand side but after 5 rounds of iterations you get the completely eroded image as you can see in the right hand side. So erosion is done for 5 iterations and you get the image changed like that. The dilation is presented right now. During the first iteration you get the dilated image like this and after the fifth iteration you get a dilated like this. All these are done with a simple piece of code that we have shown you in the previous slide. Let's summarize. In this session, we have explored what is OpenCV, how to convert an image from color to grayscale using OpenCV. We also have seen that what a kernel is all about and how does convolution look like. Dilation can be used to images where images are very dark. By applying dilation, we can light up the pixels. Computer vision is not only about applying kernels and changing the images. We can build several applications like facial recognition, medical diagnosis and more than that. In this session, we will perform some fundamental image processing operations and they are very important to be understood as well. We are going to show you the demo as well as we will explain you how exactly the OpenCV content can be used for processing the image. We are going to take this image of New York, which is taken in the evening and it is very colorful. You can see that this image has got a lot of buildings and it's really cool. This image is going to be processed right now and we are going to do the erosion and dilation with this image through OpenCV. First step is to import CV2 and to import NumPy. Then we need to mention the exact path where the image is available and zero specifies it as a grayscale image and that's what we are going to do. And this part is not required right now in the beginning so I am commenting it and we will see how exactly we can read the image first. You can see that cv2.im show input image and here I am giving it as img because that is the way I have given it in the previous line. So we are reading the newark.png and we are displaying it right now and we are running it. Now you can see that we got the input image read as a grayscale image and when you go ahead below the image was displayed with the image viewer which was default but now we are doing it with the python shell. Now we are going to explain you the step by step process of how exactly things work 
with the images when you change it as color image i have made it one right now and you could see that here we got the color image red you can see that when i press w this will be closed because i have got cv2.8 key option enabled in the last line of the code now let me uncomment all these things so i am uncommenting it and i am commenting the input image show option i do not require it and i am reading the input image as a grayscale image now the grayscale image is preferred because it is easy to process nothing else is the reason we are going to process it with these let me run it you can see that i have got the dilated image as well as i have got the eroded image and the number of iterations that i have given there is 5 and that's why you've got very good dilation and very good erosion happening now you should also see that we are going to change the dilation and the erosion count to 1 right now and you could see that the results could be different the erosion is all about pixel removal dilation is all about pixel addition in the border you can see that now and i'm going to run it i have made the changes and you could see that after the first round of dilation and erosion you have got this image so more the erosion is darker the image would be more the dilation is more white content would be there in the picture that's it we have performed a very simple dilation and erosion process with the open cv functionalities and i hope you have understood that